Hey y'all, hey, my name is Taquisha. This is our freedom song and I am so happy that you're here. I know how valuable your time is and you didn't have to click this video and you don't have to be in the garden with me right now, but here you are. Today, I wanna share with you where I found the most inexpensive seeds that I've ever purchased that was not from a big box store. So if you really want to grow some food this fall and winter and are looking for inexpensive places to find your seeds, I hope that this video helps you with that process. I also hope to inspire you during this video to plant a fall garden. So definitely stay tuned. Chickens get so excited when they see us coming <laughs> with these black soldier fly larvae. They're like, yum, yum. <laughs> Let's talk about these carrot seeds. So I went to my local feed and seed store and I got a hundred this is a hundred and thirty seven grams of carrot seeds for two dollars and fifty cents which is wild all of these other ones were 25 cents and I don't exactly know how many grams they are maybe about eight or nine um, depending on which one but I just thought that is wild because it's so affordable and I did not know about going to the local feed and seed to get seeds until last year. Like I had no idea. I thought I had to order seeds online. Um, and so there are specialty seeds that you can order online that are just fun to order. And I'm all about that. And then there are things that are just like really basic, <laughs> you know, um, that are inexpensive. And not only is it just inexpensive to buy compared to the big box store, or even if you go to the $1.25 store and it's about the same price, you're going to get more seed for your money from your local feed and seed. At least I did. So I'm actually going to be planting carrots today and I'm also going to be making some soil blocks and planting some of these in there, especially the spinach because the spinach is coming up. I'm kind of late on some of the things. It's like I was early until I'm late. And so, but it, it's okay. Um, and that's the other thing about these seeds. It, it doesn't specifically say what type it is. It just says kale or broccoli or tender green mustard, you know, but if you're not, if you don't really care um, and you're just concerned with the inexpensive price, then it's pretty good because they're buying their seeds in bulk and then they're dishing them out in smaller packs for us. And so that's cool. This lizard literally just won't let me be. I, like it is so <laughs> aggressive. It's aggressive. Look at it, looking at me. I didn't spray it and moved it and it just keeps coming back to this area like it belongs in here and it doesn't. <laughs> I just want it to go away. I just want it to let me be great and sow seeds. That's all. That's all, Bob. I don't know what to call you, Bob. I've had a Tyler in here. I don't know, maybe you're Susan. I don't know. I just want you to leave me alone. I, I actually don't mind lizards, but this one is just like jumpy and coming, keeps coming close to me. And I'm just like, normally they just let me be. They eat the insects. I appreciate them. They leave me alone. Like it's just a win-win. But this one, this one, man. So yes, I am actually hoping to knock some soil blocks out today so that I can plant some sugar snap peas in there. And then I have our three green stalks that need to be planted out as well. And all of them are going to be planted with our lettuces. And it sounds like I am about to get some help. <laughs> so what did you girls just learn about? Plants. Plants. plants yeah. yeah. 
Nice. Well, you're going to be helping me <laughs> sow seeds inside the green stalks. And um, we're going to be planting lettuce in the green stalk. And it's a part of school today. Yeah. <laughs> so you get some fresh air. <laughs> that one might need to go to the chickens because that one has been. I don't know. I need something grippy because my hands probably gonna slip. Do you want a glove? Yes. <laughs> you have to grab it fast. And all the... You got it, girl. You got it. Come out. Come out. Just put it in the grass. Yeah, yeah, I caught it. Yes, sir. <laughs> so pick. Oh, the butterfly. So pick seven of those and then yeah, we'll do one for each tier. But you'll need to make sure you completely water your tier before you. Do you have both have seven? No, no, no. I have more right here. Can I get first pick? Yeah, here. And then we'll plant other stuff. Cause we this tender green is one curly mustard curly spinach okay. and kale here picks four of these oh, these aren't one, these, these are micro greens two. Mm -hmm. pick two. this is my seventh one okay let me see what is you this? got yeah it's just a mix so it's fine um and then leave the seed package on the row that you do and then we'll label them okay, okay. Three, four, five. So you have five? five uh, oh, this six, one right here. Six, Get this right here. I like that. Yeah. Seven. Okay, cool. So for those of you who don't know, just a side note, we are a homeschooling family. So with that being said, we get to use all of these things as a part of learning for our children. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to sprinkle. She's so smart. That's why I didn't want to. No, it's okay. Because you don't have to just do one or two. All you have to do is just put some in there. Just like a pinch worth. No, a little bit more. Just like a pinch worth. That's pretty good. Yep. And then, sprinkle, then you sprinkle, just sprinkle, sprinkle it right sprinkle. there. And we don't even barely have to cover it. It's just really soft because we don't want it to be buried too deep. Okay? Okay. All right. So like I was saying, we are homeschooling family and all of these experiences are very enriching for our children. And so it is definitely such a blessing. Um, and they are learning skills all the time that are going to be so beneficial for their lives. Uh, regardless if they choose to have giant gardens or not, they're going to know how to grow food. So last year I used this method, the paper towel method, and I'm going to do that again. So I finished up this lettuce right here, which is like my favorite. And I just put a wet paper towel down inside of there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just sprinkle some carrot seeds on that paper towel close it and then let it germinate on there um, last year i had really great success with that and i'm also going to direct sow these i'm trying again i found the absolute best price for some peat moss today it's so crazy because since the spring garden season is gone and summer is almost over the garden section y'all in your big box store is where it's at like they had so many things marked like way down where it's just crazy not to get it um what they had was they had this big old giant bag of peat moss um, that's normally like $15 or something marked down to four. So I'm actually going to use that um, and plant the carrots in that bed. But before I do that, I'm going to have to actually pull up the peppers in that bed. And I am going to be overwintering the peppers. And so 
I did that last year. It worked out great. And so I'm going to pull them, but I'm going to save them. Yes, my love. Uh, there's not enough seeds in this bag. I'm actually just going to leave that right in the greenhouse, right there. That one. We still have some peppers on here, but I really wanted to use this large bed right here to grow the carrots in. And so I am making, making the choice, but we will save these beauties and hopefully keep all the tags. <laughs> That's the hard part. In my pocket they go. Ah, so hard because I know those peppers just want to keep living but this is the best place for me to plant the carrots Back to school in the house. Thank y'all for your help.
So I have been asked to share what type of fertilizer I use. And from my experience last year and having success with the seedlings, I would say that this is one of my favorites. Um, I use this, mix it in with my seed starting mix and I really felt like it made a huge difference. And so I'm going to add this bag inside this bed right here along with this peat right here and then give it a good mix. And then I'm going to sprinkle my carrot seeds on top of that. So I'm also adding a couple cups of perlite for the aeration. I do have some more on the way, but it's just not going to be here in time. Um, ideally, I would want to add vermiculite, which holds water inside of this mix as well. But since it's not here and I really need to plant these carrots, I'm going to have to just hope for the best. As a last ditch effort, I actually called our local hardware store and y'all won't believe they have vermiculite. And so I'm about to go run and get that. So I am just going to put this whole bag of vermiculite in this bed and I'm so excited because this is going to make sure that the soil stays nice and moist so the carrots can germinate. And I'm just mixing this in the very top layer of the soil. Okay, you guys, and now it is time to plant the carrots. There's so many different methods to plant carrots. Some people dig a small trench and then sprinkle the carrot seeds along that trench. Um, very shallow um, as well. Some people just what they call chaos throw it. <laughs> just kind of sprinkle it all over. I'm going to choose to season the bed. I'm going to treat this like seasoning and I'm going to season the bed and that is what I'm choosing. I'm not going to do a trench. I'm not going to do a trench. <laughs> I'm going to just sprinkle, 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 sprinkle all over and then see what happens. I'm actually going to, before sprinkling the seeds, go ahead and spray the bed lightly. Um, start to activate that vermiculite get it soaking up that moisture and then i'm going to sprinkle the seeds onto that and then water one more time
found that the carrots are planted. Let me show you really quickly how I'm going to make these soil blocks. I have no idea how this big old ground cherry got in front of the garden shed when I didn't plant ground cherries anywhere close to here. So that's a treat and a surprise. <laughs> Okay, so because it worked so well last winter, I'm going back with the Pro Mix. I just don't want to waste my time. <laughs> I don't want to waste my time. And since it worked well, it's not broke. I'm not going to try to fix it, y'all. And this potting mix was actually $6 off um, at Wally World. And so I picked it up and I'm so happy that all the garden stuff is on clearance right now because it was perfect timing okay so this is the soil block that i use i know that some people start off smaller and you can like build up but this is the one that i use it's about a two by two um, inch square and what i'm going to do is i have my pot in soil just in a tote right here and I'm going to get this nice and wet and I'm going to be adding some vermiculite in here to hold the moisture. And so for about this much last year, I think I did about a cup of vermiculite and then I'm also going to be adding some worm castings in here. And that is it. And I'm gonna just mix it up. It was pretty wet last time and it held. And so it worked for me. And so I'm just gonna to try to mimic what worked the last time. So it takes quite a bit of water to actually get this like mud. It takes quite a bit. And so don't be afraid to add that water. So I'm finally at like this jiggly kind of consistency. And this is the consistency that I like. So the water is kind of on the top of it. If you can see that, if I don't even know if you can see that, but yeah, the water is kind of sitting on the top. Um, and I, I think that that's a good consistency because I'm about to add vermiculite, which is going to soak up water as well. Um, and so I feel like this is, this is, this is good. It was frustrating for me whenever I was scoring the internet, trying to figure out how to make a soil block <laughs> and the information that I was coming across again and again and again was you just have to do it. <laughs> I'm like, no, tell me how to do it. Tell me how, because I just, there was so much I just didn't understand about it. And because I had never done it before, there's that intimidation there as well. And so if you are feeling discouraged or looking for information and you really cannot figure out something that is telling you exactly how to do it, don't worry. Don't worry, like it, it happened to me too. And I didn't know what I was going to do, but it actually did work out. I just went with, I just went with my gut. So just experimentation is going to be your best teacher. Like it really, really, really is. But if there's anything that I could tell you to maybe help you out just a little bit, um, definitely ask me down in the comments below because I would love to help any way that I can and so definitely let me know. It just looks like brownies, you know? 
And if you have any tips and tricks for any of those newbies out there, definitely leave it in the comments below because I mean, you know, we be in them comments. <laughs> So at this point, I am just going to fill up my squares with my mixture here and kind of just squish it in there. Just squishing, squishing, squishing. I like to do it like this. Just kind of get it all squished in there. And I kind of press it a little tight. So I am squeezing a little of that moisture out so that it will be nice and firm. So after I get my soil block all filled and I just level it off at the top with my hand, I just bring it over to my tray like that and I just press up like that. And that's our soil blocks guys right there. And these were so fantastic coming into the spring all of my seedlings were so healthy um, like I've told you guys before soil blocking and then my little containers like this um, from the epic gardener are my favorite they are absolutely my favorite oh my goodness this is a quinoa and I got one little baby quinoa in there and I'm so excited about it <laughs> I see purple sprouting broccoli y'all I'm so happy I'm so happy okay so for my first batch of soil blocks I'm actually going to be planting some sugar snap peas and these are really great being directly sown but because I'm still working on that area and going to need to put a trellis up for these I'm just gonna go ahead and get them started because I should get them started right now and because it's a soil block I won't be disturbing the roots so it'll be fine so I'm going to do some sugar snap peas as well as some beets now your girl has not been able to get beets to grow which is the craziest thing to me but I have not been able to get any beets to grow I'm hoping that this year is different <laughs> Ooh, I got some purple carrot seeds I need to plant those but yes I have not been able to get any beets to grow I'm going to try again because we get to try and try again right and so I'm going to do two four six eight I'm gonna do eight of my soil blocks with just beets in it so that I can at least give it a go and what I like to do is this little divot right here I like to plant my seed and cover it with vermiculite and so that is what I am going to do now so if y'all remember last time when I planted peas and I planted the ones that I typically plant which is just the sugar snap pea variety and then I planted these y'all and I said I would never plant these again listen those yellow moths laying those eggs were covering this early perfection pea and it didn't touch the sweet pea and so I am sticking to my word and never plant those again I do have a new one I don't know if I want to try it or not I should um a sweet gardening friend sent me these so I've never had these before I've only had these the sugar snap and so um, so I have lots to choose from These are what the beet seeds look like. Come on, y'all. I need you to grow. Okay, so now that they're planted, I'm just going to cover them with a little dust of vermiculite. And that's it.
Well, that is it, my friends. Oh my goodness, I feel so accomplished. I feel so accomplished. It feels so nice to just check a thing off the list for something that you so badly want. Like you wanna see your garden grow and things be healthy and all the things. And so I'm so happy. I feel, I feel great. Thank you guys so much as always for joining me in the garden. Until next time.